Welcome to the Artist Studio. In this episode, we meet the global ballet star, Carlos Acosta. Born in Cuba, Carlos grew up in one of Havana's poorest districts. From dancing hip-hop on the streets with friends, today he leaps across the world's greatest stages, enthralling audiences and inspiring tomorrow's ballet dancers. The greatest ballet star of his generation, Carlos has performed with the best companies in the world, including the Royal Ballet, American Ballet Theatre, Paris Opera Ballet and the Bolshoi. We caught up with Carlos Acosta as he prepared for his Arab World debut at the 2016 Abu Dhabi Festival. The life of an artist needs commitment and discipline. So what motivates you to keep going? Uh, evolution, you know, I, I don't want to repeat myself. I want to learn something new every time. Also love of what I do. I love to connect with people. I, from a very young age, I, I understood that ballet perhaps was my best friend, you know, the friends that would never leave me. And, uh, and I'm just so committed to, to, to evolve and, uh, and to, to express myself on stage. And, you know, it always uh, takes prices, you pay prices, you know. Uh, it's, uh, it, it could be very, um, a, a world that is very close. You know, you, don't, you can't just go and wander the, the streets, you know, you need to preserve your energy in one direction and, and you need to do your homework in terms of the other uh, dances that were before you and understand where are you in the contest uh, of, of dance and scenario. But uh, at the same time, it's just, uh, it's wonderful. And, uh, and, uh, and also when you just go and see these uh, members of the audience, you know, filled with emotion and you know that you were part of that, you know, it's just something magical. And so that's what kept me going. What advice can you give to a young person wanting to pursue a dance career? I think uh, there, there are many advices, of course, perseverance, stay true to your dreams, and knowing that there's going to be so many obstacles ahead, but, uh, and there are going to be people probably trying to dissuade you from becoming, you know, uh, fulfilling your dreams. But the desire of dance is yours and yours only. And so it's just, just don't listen, you know, fulfill your dream, fulfill your desire. The world, their world is better with dance than without it. So tell us, who has been your inspiration? Well, from the artistic point of view, many. There have been many artists, you know, like Barishnikov and Nureyev, who paved the way for, you know, our generations of dancers. Uh, but everything, you know, my culture inspires me, you know, to dance, because the minute I opened my eyes, there was dance all around me. In Cuba, my parents were dancing, you know, and uh, you go there, the neighbors are dancing, and. Cuba is a very hot country and it's tropical and people are sweating and dancing on the street and rhythms and so I was part of all that culture, you know, so it's, uh, dance is pretty much part of our life. I, I have got uh, the privilege to work with choreographers and teachers who has enhanced this kind of desire of, of dance and not only dance to, but also to excel and to become better myself, such as Anthony Dowell, uh, my great teacher in Cuba, who really believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. So all that, you know, uh, is an inspiration. But also the fact that you, you are constantly bending your body to your own will. There is this kind of relationship between mind and body. So you've established a dance foundation in Havana. What inspired you to do that? Uh, I, I was a, a product of the free education system, you know, and whenever you go around the world, governments, they, whenever there is a crisis, the arts funds are the first one to go. And so you rely on, you know, a few generous donors that want to support it. 
So I want to bring a, a platform that could launch the career of uh, kids that could not afford it for free. You know, ballet is a very expensive career. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I always think that what would be of me if I didn't have the chance to study ballet for free? So I want to give another kid that the same opportunity, uh, not just for the sake of, of Q or whatever. I want to build and leave this legacy behind for the world. So uh, I'm going to de dedicate all my energy to that end. Carlos, thank you so much for joining us in the artist studio today. Shukran. Thank you.